New this morning, I-40 westbound near the Route 66 Casino comes to a standstill overnight following a rollover accident. We understand the vehicle was traveling westbound shortly before 2 a.m. when it appears the driver veered onto the shoulder on the north side of the roadway, then rolled out over a fence. The driver was airlifted to the hospital. A service dog riding inside the vehicle was thrown and badly hurt. Crews got a backboard to transport the animal into an ambulance to get some medical attention. Uh, we are working on getting you more details and an update on the situation. As soon as we learn more about the crash, we'll be sure to bring it to you. In other news this morning, APD has still not said why officers fired at a homeless man who was camped out in the foothills, killing him during a SWAT standoff on Sunday. But they have named the two officers who pulled the trigger, Dominic Perez and Keith Sandy. Sandy and his partner were behind another case that stunned the city. You probably remember this video at the time. Matt Kendall was an officer and was caught here on tape in uniform in a motel room with a prostitute who's actually an informant for Sandy. A Kendall claimed entrapment and accused Sandy of lying to the grand jury. Kendall up pleading, Kendall ended up pleading no contest to a misdemeanor while Sandy was elevated to APD's most exclusive unit, the Repeat Offender Project. Keith Sandy is also the subject of a federal lawsuit, we found out, saying he was involved in an illegal search of a suspected drug dealer. Online records show prosecutors dropped the drug charges because of an issue with the search warrant. Elizabeth. Manny Aragon's name will be coming down from a school's library in Albuquerque. APS board members voted to remove the disgraced politician's name from the library at Lowell Elementary School in southeast Albuquerque. It's been more than a year since News 13 originally reported on the call for the name change. The former senator spent four and a half years in federal prison for pocketing more than $600,000 during the construction of Albuquerque's Metro Courthouse. A developer who has a vision to turn thousands of acres of empty land into a new community has caught the attention of Bernalillo County planners. Commercial uses, office uses, residential uses, industrial uses, recreational uses, open space networks, things of that nature. The proposed 14,000 acre development is called Santolina. It could bring as many as 100,000 people to the area, which is right next to Atrisco Heritage High on the east and the county jail to the west. The Bernalillo County Planning Commission will meet next week to talk specifically about transportation issues with the project. A decision on the plan could come sometime in the fall. Well, this is a big election year here in New Mexico, and Bernalillo County is getting ready with some new machines that actually help tabulate the votes. Voters will still mark the paper ballots and feed them into the new machines, which will have bigger screens with a visual and audio indicator to let you know if your ballot's been accepted. Bernalillo County plans to hold mock elections on the next two Saturdays to make sure the machines work. That would be well in, in, in advance of the June primary. What it will enable us to do is to produce election results a lot more quickly um, to to make them available to the public a lot more quickly. The new machines cost the state six million bucks. There will be some new voting locations this year in Bernalillo County. You want to find out where they are? It's easy. Head to our website. Go to krqe.com. You can also learn about the mock elections there. Well, a company from here in New Mexico is reinvesting in the local workforce with some new high paying jobs and a new location. Vitality Works is moving into a vacant building near Unser and Blue Water Northwest. It's a natural health and dietary product manufacturer that ships to all natural distributors and retailers. Right now, 125 people work there, but an increase in demand means the company has to expand. And it's opting to expand right here, because, and it says it's because of New Mexico's tax incentives. Vitality Works expects to add another 50 jobs to its workforce, with salaries ranging anywhere from $30 to $100,000 a year. With the March 31st deadline looming to sign up for health care under the Affordable Care Act's open enrollment, New Mexico's Health Ex Insurance Exchange is reaching out to answer questions. There are meetings set for today to in, uh, get help for enrollment. They are happening at Flying Star Cafes around the metro area. Here's a quick list. Knob Hill downtown, that's at 723 Silver. At Manal, uh, 8001 Manal, west of Wyoming. They'll be there to answer questions from 10 to 3 today and tomorrow at the same Flying Star locations. About 103,000 low-income New Mexicans have enrolled in Medicaid since the state expanded who qualifies last year. The Human Services Department says New Mexico is on track to meet projects that uh, 
call for about 130,000 people to be covered under Medicaid during the first year of the expansion enrollment, which opened up in October. Services started in January. 30% of New Mexico's population is covered under Medicaid. Well, help is on the way for you this tax season. This is particularly for seniors and folks who don't have a lot of money. Tax Help New Mexico is now offering free tax preparation for anyone who's 65 and older and those who make less than $52,000 a year. Last season, this Tax Help New Mexico prepared more than 31,000 returns that resulted in $19 million in refunds, saving New Mexicans more than $4 million in their tax preparation fees. That is 506. They call it the Wall That Heals, a mobile half size replica of the Vietnam Memorial Wall, and it is now on display in Santa Fe. And it's going to be there for the next few days for you and your family to go check out. More than 58,000 servicemen and women's names line the wall, which includes, of course, the names of the 400 New Mexicans who fought and died in Vietnam. The wall is on display at Fort Marcy Park. The park is open 24 hours a day until next Monday morning at night. The mm. memorial is lit up. For visitors, and of course, it is free to go ahead and check out. Yeah.